What up, everybody? There's a new exclusive clip from Ghost Season 4, Episode 3, with Tariq and Braden talking at one of Tariq's three jobs at Stansfield, working in the school library. As Tariq gets a text from Davis, letting him know that Zion called, and they were in for 300 k Zion is most likely the new plug, or somebody who works with the new plug. And it sounds like they got to come up with 300 k in order to get a re-up. Tariq tells Brayden that Zion will let them in, and Brayden asks how that happened. And Tariq mentions faking a trail that would lead back to a kid named Roman from the Fight Club. The episode trailer also shows Tariq, Brayden, and Davis in this Fight Club as well. And we can also see Kane find somebody at the same Fight Club in a couple of the Season 4 promo trailers as well. So we know that this Fight Club will play a role moving forward with this season. Tariq also tells Braden in this clip that Effie took care of the rest after he created a trail to Roman. And Braden, just as surprised to the rest of us to hear Tariq say that he's working with Effie, asked for clarification, say, we're f***ing with Effie now? And Tariq said, nah, nah, just doing what I gotta do. But if we pay attention to how he answers Braden, we can tell that he's lying. Remember how Tate was able to read Tariq like a book when he lied about the Ponzi scheme? Well, he answered Brayden the same type of way. So most likely Tariq and Effie made up like they did in season one when they made up by hooking up after Effie played Tariq for the first time at Choke by getting him expelled. Effie also betrayed him by going behind his back with Kane and then trying to kill Lorne. But none of that tops off when she tried getting Tariq killed at the end of season three when she told Noma that Tariq was targeting her daughter. I know she said in episode 2 that she didn't think that Noma was going to try to kill him, but she couldn't have expected anything less. Because Effie's far from stupid, and she was even one of the main ones firing at Tariq and Braden in the warehouse at the end of season 3. One thing we know for sure though is that Effie's always going to look out for herself first. Her and Tariq have that in common. This was also what was said about Ghost and Angela, that they always look out for themselves first. And that's why Effie got Tariq expelled from Cho so she could take over his territory. I'm not sure why she tried killing Lauren other than to take out the competition. But when she betrayed Tariq at the end of season 3 with Noma, it was because Tariq tried to cut her out the business and told her to figure it out. You've been on your own before, right? So like she told Tariq, she was mad. But maybe when she cooled down, that's when she decided to help him. But she still can't say she didn't try to get him killed. And as soon as Tariq made it out that warehouse, she also probably thought that she'd be better off if she didn't have Tariq as an enemy, thinking that there would be a good possibility he would come for her as well. But now Effie's going to be playing a very dangerous game, playing the middle between Tariq and Noma. And Tariq is literally trusting Effie with his life again by telling Effie his business. Because she could easily report back to Noma that Tariq's trying to get back in the game. And Noma agreed to the truce under the condition that he wanted. And did Effie foreshadow her future in episode 2 during her conversation with Diana? She told Diana that with Noma you're either in or you're out with a bullet. This is also a factor in her incentive to work with Tariq still having the plan to eventually get out from under Noma's thumb. Keep in mind that Noma's keeping her thumb on Effie as it is, forcing her to move extra weight at the colleges, but not giving her any extra pay, telling her that she's only doing what she's being asked to do. But Effie also made herself valuable with Noma in episode 2 by helping Kane land the deal with the Russians. And the Russian boss said that he would only agree to the terms under the condition that Effie was his direct contact. But if Noma finds out that Effie's Working with Tariq in any type of way, that would be a death trap for Effie. Because Noma will call her in and take her out immediately. The exact same way that they were about to take Tariq out in Season 3. There's an old saying that says my enemies have fallen in the same trap that they set for me. So I can definitely see Effie going down that way. Not to mention Diana saw Effie talking to Tariq after class last episode and asked her what that was all about. But Effie changed the subject and talked about meeting up at the candy store so Effie could then pressure Diana into selling product. 
And keep in mind that Effie has always felt that she could run game on Diana like she was smarter than her. And Diana is just as jealous about Tariq as Effie. So with that said, I can also see Diana running her mouth to Noma about Effie working with Tariq and trying to get her killed. So she could be with Tariq for herself, especially now that she is pregnant. This again would come full circle to how Effie tried killing Lauren so she could eliminate her competition. And this will also be the episode that Effie gets to see Noma's daughter Anya in person and possibly even get a chance to meet her. Because the trailer shows the clip where it looks like Noma was about to kiss Kane. And this clip is from the same scene with the picture that shows Kane and Effie looking in at Noma talking to Anya. So will Effie now make a play to target Anya again? Or will she be who gives Tariq the information in regards to Anya? Because we know from the promo video that Tariq's going to hook up with Anya this season. Is he hooking up with Anya after Noma kills Effie for betraying her? Because now there's also a strange dynamic about to be played out between Kane, Effie, and Noma. Because of the fact that Noma is catching feelings for Kane. And we know from Kane's season 4 description that he will align with Noma even over his own family. And we also know from one of the promo videos that Kane's going to learn that Effie is back connected with Tariq in some type of way. Because it shows him asking her, how does he know that Effie and Tariq aren't just playing the long game? So right now it's looking like Effie's going to be the odd woman out. But when Tariq hooks up with Anya and Kane hooks up with Noma, that's going to be one very awkward family dinner. But at the same time, if Tariq and Effie really wanted Noma gone, since Effie's getting closer and closer to Noma, she could easily give Tariq a location where he could drop Noma off at. Getting me to what is the reason that Tariq is back working with Effie in the first place. Keep it in mind that the season 4 trailer has Tariq saying that he has to use all of him. The good and the bad. Talking about Ghost. So I think we're going to see Tariq setting up the guy named Roman. And using Effie to make an anonymous tip. Similar to how Ghost and Tasha set Kanan up back in the day. And Tariq is also doing this for the same reason that Ghost did, to take Roman's spot, just like Ghost took Kanan's spot after setting him up. Because there's a couple different clips from the episode 3 promo that we could see that could be clues that this is what Tariq does. The first is the van that's loaded up with product gets set on fire. And there's also a clip with two guys running from the cops. So most likely this is all a part of the plan that Tariq sets in motion to take the spot of the guy named Roman. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.